This morning, something very special happened. Make us go to Storyland. I'm cooking. Then it will be even odd, even odd, even odd. Late to 9, 10, 11, 12. I like drama. Here in Norfolk, the local authority is breaking new ground to encourage the use of drama across the entire curriculum. And at Great Hockham School, Terry English is in the vanguard, sparking new ideas for teaching drama in maths, with the help of drama expert Patrice Baldwin. We've been completely shocked as a school about how powerful drama um, can be in getting children to engage with other subjects and in maths particularly, um, it can be quite a dry subject sometimes. With drama, you can change the setting but cover the same ground and make it seem really exciting. This morning, I got up and laying on the doormat was an envelope and it said, Buttercup's class, Great Hockham School. <coughs> Shall we see what it says? Receiving the letter from Storyland is a good way. They, they're excited by letters. They know good things come out of the letters we receive. So reading the letter gives you a chance to set the scene and give the children the little pieces of information that they need to know. Ready to move on with the drama? Number Muncher Cafe, Storyland. Dear Buttercups, my name is Chef Jeff and I own the Number Muncher Cafe in Storyland. More and more teachers are looking more creatively for links across other areas of the curriculum and some of them are more immediately obvious than others. And part of the challenge is to find ways of using drama in the areas where you might not normally and that ends up with the teacher having to think more creatively. What do you think we should do? Go to Storyland and help. Wow. Do you think that's what we should do? Yeah. We? Shall we go hold hands? And hold hands. Shall we do that yeah, then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Terry's main device to deliver the lesson today was by using teacher enrol to engage with the world of make believe that young people find so intriguing. Make us go to Storyland. <laughs> yes, we're here. Teacher in role is when the teacher takes on a part in the drama, takes on a role. Um, it can be a sustained role which lasts through the whole drama or sometimes you might just take on a role for part of the drama and then re-return as the teacher. And today's lesson, my role was sustained. Once we got into Storyland, um, the teacher went off into the distance looking for Chef Jeff and Chef Jeff came back in and from then on I was Chef Jeff. Hello? Who are you? Buttercups! Buttercups? I wrote you a letter. Did you get it? Yes! Yeah. Oh, thank goodness for that. Come over here. Hang on a teacher in role is a really key strategy because it shifts the way that a teacher is, is relating with a child. And the teacher in teacher in role, first of all, it's incredibly flexible because you can be anybody. You know, you, you, you can be... Um, somebody who owns a cafe in Storyland or you can be a tyrant king or you can be whatever really you can create anything so you you have great flexibility as a teacher in role. What do you think I do at the cafe? Bake pink ice buns. Oh, I do bake pink ice buns. You can take on a lot of power in that role if you need to do a lot of class control or you can have a very low status role, in which case the children take on that power. And I've not got a very good memory, so as soon as you've shown me, I'll probably forget. So Today I'd got low status in some respects. Um, I didn't know the maths which the children knew, um, but also I did have a slight element of power, which I, I need for class control, in that it was my kitchen, and so people were visiting my domain and so they would behave appropriately. <coughs> now, one day, Lily, Chef Jeff and Cookbook and Master Cook were in the kitchen. Peggy was out front and there was a knock on the door. 
and Peggy opened up the door and in came a customer and this customer's name was Even Stephen. In this initial part of the lesson, Terry, as Chef Jeff, introduced the children to a range of fictional characters. Odd Bod and Even Stephen. <coughs> and we've got Double Trouble and Double Bubble. Whoosh! Terry invented these characters herself and she uses them as teaching aids to help the children to learn about number bonds, odds and evens and doubles. And Mr Jim Number Bond said, I only eat things that are number bonds for ten and number bonds for a hundred. And in the end we just cried because we didn't know what to do at all. <laughs> And we need someone to help us. Help You'll help us? Yeah. yeah! All of you? Yeah. You'll help me? Yeah. <sighs> Great Hockham School is part of Norfolk's D4LC initiative, spearheaded by Patrice Baldwin. Together they've been making strong headway to intensify the use of drama and make classes more active and engaging for children of all ages. D4LC is drama for learning and creativity. So that's using drama in order to develop children's learning and to inspire them to learn and in order to enable them to have their own ideas and to be creative. D4LC is a, a wonderful thing which is giving teachers like myself who have no drama background some experience of drama through workshops and a long course where we learn about the different techniques of drama and gradually start introducing those into our own school. Head teachers have to apply for their schools to be part of it and they have to give school improvement reasons as to why they want to engage with D4LC and that might be that they want to um, improve engagement amongst pupils, they might want to improve boys' writing. A D4LC starts off almost at the planning stage where you look through what your scheme of work is, says you need to do in the next half term. And myself, I'm then looking for lessons or groups of lessons where drama may be the key to the door, a way in. And so once you've established a few lessons where that seems to be the best way in, then you can look through all your drama conventions and pick from those which ones will marry up the drama learning to the learning in that area of the curriculum. Although Terry plans her lessons to incorporate drama well in advance, Patrice still maintains regular contact with the school and she makes sure that drama is a weekly fixture on their timetable. If teachers are involved in D4LC, one of the things that we ask is that they will teach whole class drama at least every week. What's different about D4LC is it's, first of all, it, it connects to existing infrastructure, it connects to school priorities, it, it is about what the teachers and schools want it to focus on and teachers have to want to do it and schools have to want to do it. So nobody's ever forced to be part of D4LC. In fact, they're queuing up for it. They want to be involved. Number Muncher Cafe. Oh, did someone call me? I'm the maker. I'm all like something like Can you do Huggy Twos? Yeah. Go on, Huggy Two. Yeah. Huggy Two. And lots of chopping. Whoosh! <laughs> when it was time to move the lesson on from what had been mainly drama, into the maths part of the lesson. The children were asked to go and help each chef with their particular problem. And so year ones were set off to do number bonds and odds and even numbers with me, Chef Jeff. And then the receptions were split into two mixed ability groups to work on doubles with each of the other chefs. Let's see what's in here. What's got to go in here? Double trouble. Do you think they can eat these ones? Could they eat that one? Can I put that one on there? No, why can't I put that on there? Because it's not one on there, so it's not a double. Oh, I see. More and more teachers are looking more creatively for links across other areas of the curriculum, and some of them are more immediately obvious than others and part of the challenge is to find ways of using drama in the areas where you might not normally and that ends up with the teacher having to think more creatively so in fact they were doing maths problem solving I mean or they were working in maths you know with number but 
what they felt they were doing was helping a, a human being out who was having a real problem and they had the knowledge and expertise to solve it. Even. Hmm. Now I'm 21. That's how old I am. Am I old or even? Odd. Oh, yeah, I am odd. That sounds about right. I'm five and I'm odd. odd. odd as well. You're five and you're odd. Then it'd be even odd, even odd, even odd, till we get to 100. And what happens once we've got to 100? We stop. We stop, do we? Really? No, we stop when we get to 105 or 106. Do we? What comes after 106, then? Seven. And so what's that? If it ends in a seven, it's... Even. Odd. Odd. Odd, so it doesn't stop at 107 then, does it? When does it stop? It never stops. It never stops. Never. 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 I think when we do maths lessons without the drama, children are always quite keen to get what they're done finished. I finished, they say, and then move on to something else. Whereas when it's in a drama, they don't want to stop and they want to keep going. And I think that's a really big motivation for them. OK, Buttercups, could you come over here a little bit and we'll see if I've got it right. I'm not really sure. With each drama, there's a different way of ending the lesson. But today I wanted to fit in a plenary and check that the children really had started to take on board some of the concepts that they'd been given. And also a chance for each group to see which other children have been working on. I've got some plates here. This one is for double trouble. Okay, I've put two cakes on that side of the plate, but I'm not sure what do I put on this side of the plate for him. And I thought that was clever at the end where she turned around and she said, and now I've got these plates to sort out and I need to know who they're for. So she brought it back to the, linked the drama and the plenary and checked on their knowledge and understanding at that point. Well done. And this is my last plate. It's got some numbers on it. Who can I give this one to? Katrina? Even Stephen. Even Stephen. Good girl. Well done. Thank you very much. You have been so much help. And then, as is always the case in our lessons when we've been to Storyland, we all gather together, the, the magic spell is said, and everybody returns to school. Make us go to school! Drama has got quite a small part in the uh, national curriculum. It's sort of hidden away in some parts of English. Um, but as a school, we've seen that it really has a lot of power. And so we've been bringing it into other subjects. Maths was an area where people thought it couldn't possibly be used. Um, but we've tried it and found that it really does work. We solve problems in Storyland and we do work at school. Drama is actually a natural way of children learning or creating imagined experiences within which you learn is something that children do quite naturally before they ever start school. So it would seem an intelligent thing to do to say what are children doing before they arrive with us and what does that tell us about the way in which the brain learns and in which children are most engaged and motivated and as soon as you start working with children in drama you see the faces light up and you see their enjoyment, they love it. Mm -hmm.